Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Saturday, September 3rd. Can you believe it's already Saturday, September 3rd? It's just, I don't know, just flying by. <laughs> it's been busy. It's been a busy uh, September so far. We had that new moon in Virgo. Um, what was that, about seven days ago? And I have been, um, excuse my expression, balls to the wall, uh, doing stuff, just being really productive, mostly working on material for my classes um, that I'll be having in, in September. And uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, it's a lot of fun digging digging and, and, and creating and, and the like. So um, very productive work time. I think um, with this in this um, Virgo time of year, of course, Mercury will be going retrograde at the end of next week. Um, and so some things may have to be redone, recalculated and the like, but um, still, I think a very productive time and we certainly have a lot to do. So today we have that Sagittarius moon. It starts the day off with a boost from Jupiter, a nice trine to Jupiter at 611 a.m. Um, that was probably around the time I woke up, probably Jupiter knocking on my head, saying, it's time to get up and explore. Uh, ex exploration would be the Sag moon, uh, ruled by Jupiter. So uh, there's, a, there's a combination and a willingness with Jupiter in Aries, even though it, at this point is retrograde, still have a, a, a willingness to go in new directions uh, on things. Um, the moon also makes a supportive sextile to Mercury, Mercury in Libra at this time. Of course, Mercury in Libra is about communicating uh, to each other and listening, Woo, listening. Imagine that the moon uh, also opposes Mars. Remember, Mars is in Gemini now and will be in Gemini until March of 2023. It's moving direct now, so there's a lot of curiosity there's a lot of information. There's a lot of action towards information and curiosity. And then today we have the first quarter moon. This is the first quarter moon. Moon in Sag, Sun in, Gem um, in um, Virgo. First quarter moon is a crisis in action. And so we feel the need to take an action on something, on some seed that was planted in, uh, oh, we have a little bit of a face off between the bunny and the kitty, but the bunny will win because I will make sure of it. Um, Charlie, Charlie, leave the bunny alone. Oh dear, let me go get Charlie. Charlie, leave that bunny alone. There he goes, he's gonna go hide. Luckily the bunnies are faster than he is. He's pretty old now. <laughs> I know how he feels. Not as not as quick as I used to be. Charlie, you be good. So, uh, <coughs> first quarter, Christ in action. We see what kind of action Charlie took <laughs> to run, run, run towards the bunny, uh, who he will not catch. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Um, okay. First quarter square. Christ in action, taking an action on seeds planted on that new moon in Virgo. Very helpful, very vital new moon in Virgo. Um, so we're a quarter through the lunation cycle. And then tonight uh, we have a uh, sesquicadre between the sun and Pluto. Pluto uh, is about control, especially in Capricorn. It's controlled by rich people. <laughs> Uh, by government, by people in authority, okay? Um, wanting to control us in some way. Um, so uh, it is an aspect that makes us fight against that. And actually access resources we didn't even know we had, actually. So it's not a comfortable thing for the most part. But it does uh, give us an idea of just how strong we are, which um, at this point, I feel like we're all pretty Herculean uh, 
to have survived uh, and hopefully thrived through this very challenging period of history that uh, we've been getting together for for a couple of years now. Yeah. All right. And uh, lastly, at the end of the day, we have a lovely trine between the moon in Sag and Chiron in Aries. And so we uh, maybe have a view, um, a flow of uh, philosophical understanding around the issues of wounding, how we're wounded, why we wound, how we got wounded, and how we're going to heal that. So that's pretty good. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day, busy day. It's going to be another active and uh, busy day, I think, for getting things done um, and actually feeling like you're making some progress in your life. So remember, it's about decluttering, letting go, getting rid of the things that are broken in your life, and that includes maybe relationships, maybe people, um, and you know, no one's really broken, but there are certain points where you have to pull yourself away from a situation for your own health and well-being, and that's what I mean. Um, if, it's, if it's getting in the way of your own health and well-being, then perhaps it's time to release some of that stuff. But we'll have plenty of time to, to think about that and do that in this uh, Virgo period, so... All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Uh, check out my, in the news, I did Joe Biden. I think it was uh, pretty good. A little bit channeled at the end there, but uh, generally good information. Um, you know, as we face yet another uh, day in paradise. Okay, take care.